Hello ladies, as promised today, we do have a little video for you for Sabbath Sunday. And inside the Morning Miracles Challenge, it is a 10 day program. We take some Sunday off from leadership of our teams and we encourage you to attend your local church in person if at all possible for you. Don't give up on finding a church that, because it is just, it's so encouraging for you to be around other um, Christians in your community together by being physically close together. God has made it so that you can make an impact in your community as a group um, outside the faith community, in your schools, in your, um, maybe there's a homeless shelter, maybe there's other things that you could be doing um, as the body of Christ in your community, but how can you do that if you don't plug into your local church? I am excited to see what happens when more ambitious Christian women like you get involved in their local church. I think it's going to be good. So today's scripture, we actually have one for you. It is, let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. That's Hebrews chapter 10, verses 23 through 25. And today we have a beautiful poem. You will find it inside your journal. And just for your own enjoyment and reflection, it's called How Truly Loved I Was, a poem of gratitude to my Savior by Melissa Collins. She's one of our members here in the Morning Miracles Challenge, and she's on our social media team. We really appreciate Melissa. Okay, here we go. Here we go. How truly loved I was in a tiny cave because a couple expecting a baby couldn't find a place to stay. How truly loved I was when those same parents lost their son, but he was in a church. Oh, how long they had searched. How truly loved I was when that young man turned a wedding into a joyous occasion because they had run out of wine. But for miracles, it was not yet his time. How truly loved I was when that man began to travel and preach. Lost souls was what he was trying to reach. How truly loved I was when the leaders called him a blasphemer and wanted him arrested because their authority he had tested. How truly loved I was when he sweat drops of blood while praying in the garden, waiting to be captured. His love for us could not be measured. How truly loved I was when the soldiers came to get him, death that awaited him, payment for our sin. How truly loved I was as he heard his sentencing, Sadducees and Pharisees expecting an ending. How truly loved I was while he was being beat beyond recognition. But he knew that this moment was only a part of his mission. How truly loved I was on a cross 2,000 years ago as he took his last breath and accepted his death. How truly loved I was as he arose and then ascended. In that moment, hearts were being mended. And how truly loved I will be when he steps back on this earth and takes his rightful place as King of Kings and Lord of Lords among those who are his for all it was worth. Praise and gratitude to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Wasn't that lovely? Thank you, Melissa. And thank you, 
to all of you who are staying tuned and plugged into the Morning Miracles Challenge. It is a real honor to be serving you today, and I do hope that you enjoyed the poem that Melissa prepared for us. Okay, ladies, I love you so much, and I hope you have a beautiful Sunday. We'll see you here tomorrow for day eight of the Morning Miracles Challenge. It's gonna be a good one. Don't miss it. Okay, we'll be here. It's reading is the topic of the day. All right, we'll see you. This is Laura Gabriel signing off.